Understanding the vulnerability of the myocardium at the cellular level may help unlock why. In a healthy patient, cardiac output is maintained through the actions of different neurohormonal mechanisms. The RAS and sympathetic nervous system exert numerous effects on contractility, heart rate, arterial pressure, and blood volume. These are balanced by the counter-regulatory effects of the endogenous compensatory peptides, which consist of bradykinin, adrenomedulin, angiotensin 1-7, and the natriuretic peptides ANP, BNP, and CNP. Preclinical studies indicate that the endogenous compensatory peptides can exert multiple beneficial effects on cardiac remodeling. These may include vasorelaxation, antihypertrophic and antifibrotic activity, and protection against ischemic injury. However, in the setting of heart failure, this balance is disturbed, leading to an overexpression of the RAS and sympathetic nervous system. Over time, this can lead to left ventricular remodeling, even in patients that may be less symptomatic. Simply put, in heart failure, the counter-regulatory actions of endogenous compensatory peptides are simply not enough.